Hi and welcome to this big picture tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the skill feature available in big picture for forecasting or in other words, how we can answer the question, what is the earliest time we can start working on a new initiative and book our resources. So what you see right now is a resources module for my portfolio overview. In this portfolio, I added all my projects. This is just one approach of how to achieve an overview of your resource utilization using Big Picture. If you want to learn about other ways, make sure to watch our portfolio video tutorial. So again, the question I want to answer and what I want to demonstrate is when I will have sufficient resources to start working on a new initiative. So how to do that? First of all, I created a dedicated project for that. I called it new initiative. This is because I want to have all my new initiatives stored in a separate project. I will probably create a new project later on, but for now, this is sufficient. I can always convert this also to a new project. As you can see right now, I have a couple of tasks created. I call it initiative A. Uh, and I have, I will need the project manager, developers, front end, back end, as well as QA. Now for each of these, I already defined based on my experience that I will need it for roughly five weeks in case of this back end developer. As you can also see right now, I cannot define a skill. That is for a reason right now, this initiative project is not in scope of any big picture boxes. So the first step would be to Added. Now, there are different ways to do that. I don't really need to uh, create a new box. All I need to do is add it to my portfolio. So let's do that now. I will go to the box configuration. And on the task scope definition page, as you can see, I have all my projects and I would like to add this new initiative Jira project. Okay, great. So now my project, my issues uh, from that project are already in scope of the portfolio and the skill widget should load correctly. So for the QA, I will need a QA skill. I did define the skills earlier. Maybe I will show you real quick how to do that. You can do that in administration, big picture administration skills. This is where you can define all the skills. Now, there is one more thing required on the resource manager page. You can assign your resources to workload plans, whole day plans, as well as to skills that they, they have. So let's make sure that all my issues, all my tasks that I've created do have time estimates. I use the business project so I don't have to configure Jira since the estimates will be already there. Uh, the time tracking fields will be already there. So let's define the, again, another skill front or front end developer this time. Do the same for the back end developer. Okay, and let's do the same for the project manager. Okay, great. So now my uh, all of my tasks are in scope of my portfolio all projects so I should be able to display them using the resources module. For this portfolio I've only enabled the resource overview and the teams. Okay so here we are in the resource uh, resources module and as you can see I have now my four tasks in an unassigned row. That means that these four items were not assigned yet to anyone, otherwise they will be shown in the other resources swim lanes. Now, there are a couple of filters here and these are quite important. As you can see, I can either show individuals with tasks, which will show, which will capture all the tasks and adjust the list of resources. I can display all team members, which will show me the resources only from this part, from, from the teams that I predefined or I can actually use the all team members. This is a team I created. Now, why we can capture all the tasks here, you might not necessarily see all the resources unless you create a team with uh, all the all your resources as team members. So this is quite important. Please keep that in mind. Now I've added 
the, the tasks and what I've also did, I first set the estimate. So as you can see, the end date for each of these tasks were calculated automatically by the app. This happens only when, when the task is added to the scope for the first time. Now let's adjust this view a little and show also the workload and show the capacity. So right now, as you can see this in the summary row, this is the total capacity, total as a sum of all these team members. So we are in the green, so that's good. We have um, uh, capacity, but the, que the next question is, do we have resources with the specified skill? Let's enable the skill button. And right now, as you can see on the left, resources that uh, that have a um, that have a skill for example d stands for developer p stands for project manager this information you will be also able to see here and you will you can now open the skill panel so if we look at the skill panel now i can see that we can see the skill demand and i can already see that I do not have a backend developer within my team while there is a demand since I've added a task that requires such skill. And I also have a problem with my front end developer uh, and I also have a pro problem with my project manager. So of course, based on that, we can make uh, appropriate decision whether we need to increase the staffing, for example, but let's try to let's try to fix this and the first thing let's start with the project manager okay so let's shift it a little so my project manager will be available here okay now let me adjust this view one more time okay i still see that angela she's a bit over allocated so uh, that's probably because my tasks is three weeks so i should stretch it a bit more of course, she might have she might have additional tasks as well. Uh, we're still lacking sixty uh, four hours. Now we can try to make further adjustments. And now I can click here on uh, uh, on these tasks and see how the workload is distributed. It's four hours a day, which seems to be still insufficient. So I might need to move it to the start of the next week. Okay, now it looks better. Of course, I might find the, the, best, the best position here. Okay, now it's looking quite well. And one more thing, I let's find the, the, the best assignee. In that case, that's Angela. So I can click this link or I can go to the tasks itself and assign it straight away. Yeah, so right now it's unassigned. Uh, I am Angela, by the way, so I, I reported this task. And now if I click here, the task can be also assigned. So these are the things that you will be looking at whenever utilizing the resources module. Uh, and thanks to that, you can make advanced simulations of your resource utilization book the necessary resources for your new initiatives and make sure that you that, that you can complete them uh, in the defined time and also make other decisions maybe increase your staffing uh, or uh, train your resources so that's it for this short tutorial stay tuned and um, watch more of our videos on our youtube channel